Good day everyone. I am Professor Shahid Hassan and you are watching examination of the oropharynx as the micro learning content uh, which is one of the series of the micro learning content developed to complement your digital learning as part of the ENT examination. The whole video will will not take more than eight minutes. Looking at the learning outcome after watching this micro learning content, students will be able to demonstrate the examination of the oropharynx in ENT setting. Regarding the anatomy of the uh, pharynx or the throat, the throat or the pharynx is a ring like muscular tube located behind the mouth below the nasal cavity and above the esophagus and larynx. It serves the passageway for food and air. Structure of the throat are uvula. Number one, it is a small flap of the tissue visible in the back of the throat between the tonsils. A long uvula may cause snoring and occasionally contributes to obstructive sleep apnea. Number two, epiglottis, a flap of the soft uh, tissue located just above the vocal cords. The epiglottis folds down over the vocal cords to prevent food and irritants entering the larynx. And number three, tonsils, they are made up of lymph nodes, uh, lymph tissues, and are located at the back and either side of the mouth. And they protect uh, against infection, but they only don't really, uh, but they don't really have a function after the childhood, it is assumed. The throat consists of an upper part, which is nasopharynx, a middle part, which is oropharynx, and this micro learning content is about oropharynx, and the lower part, which is hypopharynx. Let's have a look at the anatomy of the oropharynx. First of all, extension. It extends from the lower surface of the soft palate to the upper border of the epiglottis. Walls of the oropharynx is formed by all three constrictor muscles. The main structure of the oropharynx are anteriorly is the base of the tongue uh, which, is, uh, uh, which, which, which is continued in front with the oral cavity best examined with the ideal when the ideal is performed because most of the time when oral cavity is examined tongue depressor is, lies on the back of the tongue or the posterior one third of the tongue. Other structure of the oropharynx, a five structure of the oropharynx include and has to be recognized during the examination are the anterior pillar uh, number two, posterior pillar or the palatopharyngeal arch. Number three, uvula. Number four, two tonsil on either side. And number five, posterior pharyngeal wall. Now let's proceed to the examination of the oropharynx. We'll start with the examination of the oropharynx by sanitizing the hands, introducing yourself to the patient, explaining the procedure, and taking the consent of the patient. Next, next ask if the patient has a pain anywhere in the region and reassure him of examination not a painful procedure and care to be provided do check if the patient is well aware of his lesion and other systemic and metabolic disorders start examination uh, from interior pillar and follow through good look at the tonsil on either side posterior pillar soft palate and uvula and the posterior pharyngeal wall next watch the video demonstration of the oropharynx examination. Now let's avoid the procedure how to examine the oropharynx with running commentary to facilitate your understanding. Now I'm going to examine your uh, 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 the, the area behind your uh, oral cavity. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Then now after the oral cavity examination, I'm going to examine your little area behind the oral cavity, right? Deep inside, right? So again, any pain, let me know, okay? So to examine that, can you open your mouth? Yes. And you breathe from uh, your uh, mouth, okay? Breathing from uh, mouth actually makes uh, the tongue drop and easy for examination, okay? So this is uh, what I'm looking at is your yeah, uh, anterior pillar uh, there. Uh, so the it's it's the so hard palate, soft palate. Already part of the uh, we have examined as part of the oral cavity. Now we are going to examine. Uh, just relax, relax. Okay, uh, just relax like this. Ah, breathe from out. Yes, breathe from out. Chin up. Yeah. Yeah. S 
so can you do a little bit ah uh, ah uh, this is so this is your again again this is your anterior pillar and then behind is the posterior pillar right and then in between the anterior and posterior pillar is the tonsillar fossa where is hardly any tonsil there but if the tonsil there we have to see it for uh, any crypts slough uh, uh, right mm -hmm. or any pus or rhinolith uh, uh, and all we have to examine the tonsil for that and the size uh, rank between one to four uh, different sizes but that's not very important because if you're seeing the patient for the first time size doesn't matter if it is not grossly enlarged right then uh, retromolar area palates or uvula and all as part but one more thing in oropharynx is the oro posterior pharyngeal wall if you look at the posterior pharyngeal wall right there right behind the uvula can you see ah 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 behind here is vascular right slightly more vascular and then sometime you can have island of the uh, lymphoid follicles as uh, um, 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 in chronic pharyngitis you may have little more prominent granular uh, pharyn uh, pharyngitis we call it right uh, multiple lymphoid follicles so that's it and uh, that is your oro pharynx examination okay i'm done it's time for quiz now and there are four quizzes as short answer questions you have to answer now let's have a quick self assessment by answering the four uh, short answer questions the saq1 is uh, what is the demarcating structure between the oral cavity and the oropharynx saq2 what is structure lies between the anterior pillar and the posterior pillars saq3 name the four stages of deglutition and SAQ4, how the oropharynx shut down from the oral cavity and the nasopharynx during the third stage or the pharyngeal stage of the deglutition. Thank you and uh, watch your performance with your own self-assessment giving marks, one marks for each correct answer as in this rubric. Answers to all the all four SAQ are provided here. You can take a pause and read the answers carefully. Now let's summarize uh, the examination of the oropharynx. After having uh, sanitized the hands, I introduced myself to patient, explained the procedure and uh, took his consent. Next, I approached the patient by asking him to open the mouth. After carefully examining the mouth, the entire oropharynx is examined in a systemic order. Special attention was given to oropharyngeal structures of the anterior and the posterior pillars, tonsil, soft palate, uvula, and the posterior pharyngeal wall. Later, bimanual palpation is done with one index finger behind the posterior pillar and the other outside in the uh, corresponding areas of the neck. At the end, patient is explained of examination finding and allowed to ask question if he may want to.